Oh, this is target at the ED. 8mm is also good. I never tried it on any real target like a planet. I felt the 12 and 18 was a little bit soft. Probably I should really try to test them again. I will do a test. That is really good. I see a lot of contrast. The resolution is not as as good as the Otoscopy or Takashi LE. But it is really good. It's good. It's nothing I, that I expected. I'm surprised how nice it is. I mean, uh, when I said the resolution is new, it doesn't snap like the Barlow, or like the Orthoscopy or the Esfigoni or the Takashi LE. It's a little bit soft focus, but it can reach focus, but it's not very snappy. But the image purity with this star guard is amazing, clear, beautiful. The satellites of the Jupiter and Jupiter are like, like diamonds, beautiful, glittering in the black background. Really good eyepiece, I'm surprised. <laughs> Why oh, never use this? This is a good eyepiece. This is a really good eyepiece. Okay, I'm now back to the 6mm orthoscopic and if you ask me between the 6 and 8 uh, orthoscopic and 8 ED which, are, which one I prefer I prefer the 8 ED <laughs> that's, the, that's a better image <laughs> wow I don't believe this ED 8mm is better than <laughs> Takashi LE 7.5mm Oh my god, I cannot believe this result. <laughs> it just put everything that I knew and I wanted to believe <laughs> in an upside down way. ED 8mm is better than that. And uh, it cost one fifth of it. <laughs> That's better than that. Oh, I don't know what to believe. EDAT, Stargate EDAT, <laughs> or oh, in America they call it a Gina 8mm or something like that. It's actually better than Takashi LE 7.5mm. <laughs> the image quality, the, the fine details, the fine belts of the Jupiter, those kind of cloud belts, more visible in this, they are not visible in LE that clear. God, somebody was in the Stargazer's Lounge all the time promoting this, saying that this is best. And I was wondering why after a while I didn't see him. I think they expelled him. <laughs> he was causing the First Light Optics, who uh, is the sponsor for the, uh, owns the Stargazer's Lounge, to actually practically lose money for it. <laughs> because they want to promote this Takahashi, I don't know. Teleview, all those kind of expensive eyepieces. In this ED8, Stargard ED, 8mm and the others probably will do <laughs> the same or even better. <laughs> Has a f better field of view than the, you know, Takahashi definitely, and better than the Colossal and the uh, Autoscopy. Oh, I'm really enjoying it. I'm glad I got two of this. I think I got two for final viewing. It's amazing, beautiful. Now after using the Saga the ED8, ED8 mm eyepiece, uh, you can easily quickly bring it to focus, no problem at all. And uh, Takashi look the image core look washed out in this one. Looks like a Trelevue Nagler, <laughs> the contrast and the Neutrality of the color is better than Teleview Nagler. And comfort is really good. The eye relief is perfect. Nagler is you have to <laughs> you know it's almost like a nail going to your eye. With this one you can have a good distance eye relief. It's amazing. <laughs> Why I never tried this before? <laughs> 
I think when people know that what a good eyepiece is this, they will not buy expensive eyepieces anymore. <laughs> Star Guide is the way to go. <laughs>